Welcome to this Blender video tutorial. It's designed for students who come along to a lunchtime club um, called Club 3D at Manor Church of England Academy in York, but hopefully it can be useful for a few other people too. In this video we're going to make a, a little cartoony snake. Um, it's At this point in the club we're only worried about modelling it, so designing it. I've put some colours on and we'll do that in this video, um, but we're not too worried at this stage about um, fancy looking graphics or photorealistic textures or anything. But by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to have a little snake model with a skeleton, so you'll be able to, um, to deform it as though it's got some bones inside. Um, with something called inverse kinematics, so you can kind of move the, um, the snake's tail or you can move its, um, its tongue, or you can um, move its mouth. Later on in the club we'll learn how to animate it to make little videos, but for now I'm just going to show you how to create this um, so you can play around it for, for still photos. Right then, so let's start with the cube that you get when you start Blender. Um, and we're going to make it a little bit smaller with S, and then G and Y, and move it just over this side of the screen. Let's go into Edit Mode with Tab, Control and Tab and select Face Mode just so we can right click and select um, the face on the right hand side of the cube. We're going to grab it and move it across to the right. I want it to be locked in on the Y axis so it goes over here and click. And then we're going to add in a subsurface modifier. So you'll see that as you add the modifier, it's the little spanner, add modifier, subdivision surface. Um, it just kind of smooths out the edges a little bit. We'll change it to subdivide it twice. and I'm going to put the mouse over the 3D part of the screen and press Control and F and s shade smooth. Oh, we need to do that with all the faces selected, sorry. So let's press A until it all goes orange. Control F and shade smooth. Okay, so this is going to be the body of our snake. And we need to try and put some more vertices in. Um, otherwise, we'll just be able to move um, the end bit and it won't look very realistic if we just have like a, a long bit going on like that. Okay, so we're going to use a loop cut. Control R, and you can move your mouse wheel at this point to change how many loop cuts we put in. So something around like that, and click, and then click again where they go. You want them to go kind of in the middle. So this is our snake body. Um, it would be sensible if we make the end of the tail a little bit thinner. So let's go into face select mode, Control Tab, right click the end one and S to make it a little bit smaller. Um, and then let's try and put a head on the snake. So we'll go to the other end, right click to select this one here, and uh, E to extrude it outwards, not too far. Then we want to go into Control Tab to get Edge Mode, and just right click on this top one at the front here. I'm going to press S to scale it outwards, and then G and Z to move it upwards a little bit. And then back into Face Mode, Control Tab, right click the front one, E to extrude it, an S to make it a little bit smaller. So we've got kind of the head shape-ish anyway it'll do. Okay, select the top of the face and we're going to subdivide this by pressing W. Press subdivide smooth and we want to cut it twice so that we've got more bits to play with. Um, and select both of these bits here. These are where the eyes are going to come out. So we'll press E to extrude them a little bit and then R to rotate them, we want to rotate it around the X axis, so press X until we can wiggle them so they're facing a little bit further forwards. They're kind of just the eyebrows, I guess. So it looks like a mouse with a massive tail at the moment, not very realistic, but we'll get there. So let's press K for the knife and click once, click again, um, and press Enter to chop it. K for the knife again, click, click, Enter. Um, and then we're going to press Control tab make sure we're in face mode and right click to get this bit. This is where the mouth's going to come in. So this is the top of the, um, the top lip, this is the bottom lip, this is the mouth. I'm going to press G and slide it along, in along the Y axis. So I've just pressed Y and I'm going to move it in a little bit. Okay, at this point I want to chop this um, into three, but it's quite hard to see with a subdivision surface on. So I'm going to take that down until it's not subdividing anymore. And you can see how much of a difference that subdivision surface modifier makes. It looks pretty rubbish at the minute, but it's easier to work with. So let's press K, click, click, enter, K, click, click, enter. So we've got a little tongue here now that we can extrude out. So right click on this one, E to extrude, and let's make it 
a little bit smaller with S and drag it in. Um, and then I want to divide this up. So K in the middle, down to the bottom, press Enter, so that I can right click on one, drag it out a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, and G, X to move it out to the side. So same again, right click to select, E to extrude a bit, S to scale a bit, G, X to grab it out a bit. There we go. So we've got um, the tongue, we've got the tail, we've got the head, we just need some eyes. I'm going to put the subdivision surface modifier back on, and I'm going to put some eyes on. So uh, let's press Control, Alt and Q to get the quad view. This is the camera, this is the top, this is the front, this is the side. I'm just going to scroll so that we can see the head in all the views. Um, like so, I'm holding down shift and mouse wheel to move um, and just the mouse wheel on its own to scroll. So I'll click um, where I want an eye to go, just in front of an eyebrow. Shift and A, let's add a cube. It's far too big at the moment, so we press S. And quad view is really good for just putting stuff exactly where you want it to go. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's press Control F, shade smooth. Shift D, and I want it to be perfectly lined up. So. Um, I always know which axes because I'm looking on these little diagrams here. So if I want it to move across in the, um, that direction, that's red or X. So I'm going to press X to move it along there, um, like so. All right, I think we're there. So press Tab. This is our snake, Control-Alt-Q. Um, and we're going to put some colors on it, and then we're going to put a skeleton on it. So um, let's go to the Materials tab change the name of this material to skin um, change it to green so the whole thing's gone green to begin with we want to have a tongue color so let's add a new material um, change the diffuse color to red uh, change it to tongue um, okay go back into edit mode with tab and this time we want to select the whole of the mouth so i'm looking in side view um, it's easier to do this in um, face mode if you're not already in it. So face mode with Control F. Uh, press A so that you've got nothing selected. And then B for box select. Box select lets you draw a box around the bits you want to select, like so. Now I've got too much at the moment, so let's try again. Let's zoom in. And sometimes it's easier to do this in wireframe mode. So I've pressed Z or Z if you're American, I suppose. Um, and let's try again. So B for box select, drag a box just around the tongue. There we go, that's pretty good. Doesn't matter if you get the bits either side because that'll look quite good too. Let's assign that, to go out of wireframe mode um, and we've got the tongue in red. Let's make the eyes, oops, press escape. Let's pr uh, make the eyes yellow. I don't know if um, what color a uh, snake's eyes are, but this snake's gonna have yellow eyes. Good, so eyes. Um, and select one of these bits as well, shift and click. Control L will select all the faces that are linked to it. And let's apply the eyes material there. And then we're almost there, just want to get the front to shift right click. Let's have a new one for the pupils of the eyes. Uh, let's make it black. Oh, it doesn't matter what color, we'll just make it dark. Um, and assign these ones here. Okay, so we've got a little snake. It would have been better if I'd made it so it gets a little bit thinner all the way out to the end, but it'll do. Um, so, next job, because it doesn't look very realistic with just a, a blob, it looks kind of like one of those draft excluders that you see at your grand's house. Um, but let's add a skeleton to it so that we can start wiggling it around. Okay, so to do this, easiest in quad view so you can see what's going on. Make it so you can see the whole of the snake in each of the views. Um, and then put the mouse cursor just where the head is. Sometimes the axes get in the way, so I'm going to turn them off just for now and click where we want the first bone to go, which is in the middle of the head around here. Okay, Shift A, add an armature and a single bone. It points up to begin with. Let's go into edit mode and grab the top bit. So I've right clicked and I'm going to grab it down so it points down the body. Now it's quite hard to see at the moment. So let's go onto the skeleton um, tab over here, turn x-ray mode on so we can see all of the bones, um, and let's extrude it. 
Now you want, early on, you want big bones, and then as you get towards the end of the snake, the bones get smaller. Um, there we go. Let's add some more bones in. So over here, right click E, let's have one going up to the top of its head. Let's have one to right click E, let's have one going up to its top lip. Right click E, one going down to its bottom lip. Um, and I'm going to click at the front here, Shift and A to add a new bone. Right click at the top. And I'm going to put two different bones in its tongue. Otherwise, we won't be able to wiggle the tongue at all. Um, like so. Okay, that'll do for a simple skeleton. Control Alt Q to get out of um, uh, the quad view mode. Right, so now we're ready um, to wiggle it around a little bit. Let's turn off, well, let's go onto wire mode so that we can still see them all. Um, so if we, oh, we need to apply the, um, the skeleton to the mesh next. Um, so we go out of edit mode, select the, um, the skeleton and try and go in pose mode, you'll be able to, to move it, but it won't move the snake too, which is what we want to try and do. We want to try and make the snake move with this body. Okay, so I'm going to go into object mode, select the snake first, hold down shift and right click on your bone, or your skeleton, sorry, and then press control and P for parent. Let's go for the one that um, is an armature deform, so it deforms the mesh based on the armature, the skeleton, with automatic weights. All right, we're nearly there. So now you can select the bone, go into um, pose mode, and it will work, but you can only do it one joint at a time, which is a bit irritating, um, because you want to be able to wiggle the whole thing. It's good for detail, but um, it's much easier if you can just grab the end of the tail and swing the snake around. So to do that, <laughs> if I can remember, um, let's uh, make sure we're in pose mode. Select the end part of your skeleton. Just change the view so the camera isn't in the way. Um, and press Shift and I. That will add an IK, which stands for inverse kinematics, um, which is the clever bit of maths that works out where all the bones need to be if you move one bone. So that was Shift and I without targets. And you get a little dotty line from the start of the bone to the end of the bone. And now, when you wiggle it, it's magic. You can kind of wiggle around the snake. I love this bit. Let's do the same over here for the tongue. So let's get the end of the tongue, shift I without targets. And that means you can now wiggle around the tongue. Um, these bits we won't bother because it's only got one bone. If you grab them, it's going to look weird. Um, so escape, just rotate them if you want to change these bits here. Uh, you can do the same with this bit, rotate it around. Um, and there you go, you've got your own little snake. So right click at the end, grab it. You can still move the individual bones if you want to, to do some detailed work. Um, and you can get your snake into all sorts of different positions. Have some fun, see what you can create, and I hope this has been useful.